Well, now I just gotta figure out what to tell everybody about this stuff. Hey, hey Goku, we just saw that guy take off. Where did he go? Oh, uh, uh him? Yeah, he, uh, I, I guess you could say he went back home. Went back home? So, just who is this guy? Uh, he, um, he, uh, well, he's... Hey, isn't there something more important you should be telling us? Huh? If you can't find the words, then allow me to help you. What? You mean you heard? My sense of hearing is leagues above any of yours. Relax, all right? I won't say anything that could possibly endanger him. We're not going in unprepared. If we die, it won't be for lack of skill. Wait, die? What are you saying? On the hunt for the androids. Piccolo explained the situation, being careful to avoid revealing anything that could expose Trunks' identity. The others could do little to hide their shock at what he had to say. About the terrifying truth regarding the two androids that would appear three years from now. In order to prevent history from plunging into darkness, everyone made the decision to train for the upcoming fight against the androids. Androids, huh? Man, I never thought I'd hear anybody mention the Red Ribbon Army again. Was that young man really from the future? I'm just as shocked as all of you, but I actually think we can trust this guy. Kakarot! Spill it! How did you get off planet Namek alive? Right, we've been going crazy wondering what happened to you. Yeah, for a second or two, I thought I was done for. But then, right at the last second, I somehow managed to find a spaceship. That's right, the Ginyu forces. You took one of their ships. But when I jumped in and started to fly away, the spaceship took me to a planet called Yardrat. Those Ginyu goons had attacked Yardrat before, so they must have had that as the destination. So that explains the getup. I'm guessing that's what the Yardrats wear? Yep, they were all super friendly. They gave me these clothes since mine were torn up pretty bad. I find it extremely hard to believe that you came back from Yardrat empty-handed. Those freaks may be weak, but they have strange powers. You picked up some of them, right? <laughs> Bingo! I wanted to learn a lot more, but they really only had time to teach me one technique of theirs. It's called Instant Transmission. Huh? Instant, instant transmission? transmission? Yep, Instant Transmission. The weird thing is, is that you have to home in on the energy of a person, not a place. So you can't warp to a place unless you know someone there. <laughs> That's one heck of a downside, huh? That's not much of a downside if you ask me. Well, I guess there's nothing you can't do now, huh? <laughs> all right. I guess we'll all see each other again three years from now. So when and where should we meet? The androids will arrive May 12th at 10 a.m. on an island five and a half miles southwest of South City. We'll be meeting up on that same island an hour earlier at 9. And don't show up unless you're ready to fight. We're not going to babysit those unable to pull their own weight. Kakarot, you may be a Super Saiyan, but mark my words. I promise I'm going to put you in your place soon enough. Don't forget that the number one Saiyan here will always be me. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll see each other in three years. Uh, where we said, hey, don't show up unless you really feel you're ready. All right, we better get going. So, Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been dying to fight you again. <laughs> sure. Sounds good to me. Yay! <laughs> I get to train with Mr. Piccolo again! All right, see you guys soon, or in three years. Right. We're making a stop home first, right, Dad? Mom's been waiting for you. Oh, yeah, right. Guess I better get some FaceTime in with Chi-Chi, huh? Piccolo, is it okay with you if we do that? Fine, but don't waste too much of our time. Oh, yeah, 
training with Piccolo. I can't wait! I won't go easy on you. Looking food. Time to get collecting. Bye. Hey. Ho ho. Trouble later. Best to deal with this now. That was a good one. What's this? I caused some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. I caused some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. for me to train it. isn't it? Nothing for 
me over here. Trouble later. Best to deal. Ready whenever you are. Let's do this. <laughs> we got a keeper. Trouble lady. Best to deal with this now. so long.
You look like you've been doing pretty good. You had me so worried. Where have you been this past year? And what's with those clothes? And Gohan, what are you doing in that outfit? Uh, yeah, about that. You know, it's kind of a long story. <laughs> What? You have to train Gohan because you're gonna fight some robots in three years? Yeah, that's okay, right? No, that's not okay! Are you insane? Do you think I'm just gonna let you waltz in here and disrupt Gohan's studies? No, uh, it's, I'm not trying to do that. It's just, well, the Earth might be in big trouble about three years from now. No, I don't care what you say. I'm not letting Gohan train with you. Hang on, wait. You're saying the fate of the Earth isn't as important as Gohan's studies are? Of course Gohan's studies are more important. Nothing's more important than that. What? You don't believe that, right? Come on, let Gohan train with me. Ugh, fine. This is the absolute last time, you hear me? Titi. But in three years, he's done with all this fighting. You got that? <sighs> Thanks, Chi-Chi. And sorry. So even Super Saiyans have their weaknesses. All right. Since that's settled, let's go train. Goku! Goku! Can you hear me? Hey! I know that voice. It's Kami. Yep, reading you loud and clear. How's it going? I'm glad to see you've made it back to Earth. I've been waiting for you. My apologies, but would you please come to my lookout? I must speak with you. Oh, really? Does it have to be now? I was getting ready to go train. What I have to say concerns everyone. Everyone? Uh-oh. Got it. Don't worry, I'll be right there, Kami. Good. You guys, I'm sorry, but there's been a change in plans. Looks like I gotta head to Kami's place. What do you think? Wanna come with me? Oh, Kami, huh? I have absolutely no desire to speak with him. Gotcha. Tell you what, why don't you guys go on ahead and train without me? R really? Uh, okay, Dad. So, uh... Do you know where we're going? Don't need to. I can find you guys just fine. I'll just search for your energy. Are you sure? Go on, get going. Be sure to do your best with Piccolo until I get back though, all right? Leave the kid to me. I'll whip him into shape. What? Uh... It's so important that Kami needs to interrupt my training. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. so important that Kami needs to interrupt my training. Yeah! 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 
No, you should train some more. Might cause some trouble late. Best to deal with this now. Yeah! Important that Kami needs to interrupt my training. Lucky! This thing's giving off a lot of energy. Hey! <laughs> That Kami needs to interrupt my training. Kami, Mr. Popo! Long time no see! I've been waiting for you, Goku. Oh? What's up? Well, I have something to tell you about the Dragon Balls. Shenron under the weather or something? No, no. You see, uh, my life is nearing its end. Call it an old man's intuition. What? Ah, no need to dwell on the matter. It's simply a feeling. Uh, if you say so. But not all hunches come true, you know. Indeed. But should you have any wishes, let us err on the side of caution and act now. <sighs> Gotta think this through. Got it, Kami! Uh-oh. Better head on back now. Piccolo and the others. They're over there. Hey! Goku! Gajirobi, what's up? Let me guess. You need help with something? <laughs> yeah, you guessed right. Yeah? What is it? Uh, Shinzu beans. Old Corrin's growing a new batch of them. They're still gonna need some fertilizer, though. So I thought that you might be up to the task of getting some. Me? Why don't you do it? Oh, uh, because, uh, because I'm busy. Doesn't look to me like you're doing anything. Get, shut it! You and Krillin are probably gonna use most of the Shinzu beans anyway. So why not help a little? Do your part! Jeez! Hmm. I guess you have a point. Man, this guy is so easy. Th that's more like it. I'll tell you what you need to do. All right, then. Take a look. That's the fertilizer I need. It's in the sacred land of Corin. Made it easy for you. I marked where to find it on your map. See here? You'll find it all the way down at the bottom of this tower. All right, that should be enough info. You got it? Yep. See you later. Well, corn does help me out. This is divine water, isn't it? Well, it's called that, but it's just normal water. I was supposed to take this from corn as part of my training. Man, that was tough.
does help me out a bunch with his senses. All right. Yeah. yeah. Found some tasty looking food. I wonder what Yajirobe does up here all day. All right. Train maybe? Nah. He doesn't look like he trains. All right. <laughs> I think Upa and his friends live around here. Found some tasty looking food. Looking food. <laughs> we got a keeper. All right. Something's there. Want a tango? I'll take you on. Why Yajirobe was reluctant to do this himself. Well, I can't complain. It's good exercise anyway. Check and check. I got what you wanted. Awesome. I knew you'd pull through, Goku. Just wait right there. Hey, Corrin, look. I got the stuff for you. You nincompoop! You can't pull one over on me. Goku's the one who got it. You're slower than a freaking sloth. Hey, where, weren't you sleeping? I was meditating, you idiot. All right, I've had it up to here with you. Let me teach you a thing or two. Your punishment will be very creative. Oh, come on, man. I appreciate the hard work, Goku. I'll split these sensu beans with you once they're ready. Thanks a million, Corrin. That took longer than I thought it would. I'd better hurry back to Piccolo and Gohan. Hello. 
this. Right. <laughs> Actually... <laughs> what? Yeah. Time to find Bubbles some super tasty bananas! Hello. <laughs> 
Huh? Huh? What? Huh? Huh? Hello. Thank you. Hey. Huh? Uh oh. Yeah. Good grief. Piccolo's been looking after Gohan. He's even been training. Uh, Dad! Sorry about that. Now, what do you say we start out with training? All right, for starters, I want the both of you to come at me. Both of us? Are you seriously that full of yourself? Gohan, I want to see you at your full power. Try and catch him off guard and overwhelm him. Okay. Toughened him up. I'm not grateful for that. Come on, go. Keep back. I will, Mr. Piccolo. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> 
return a year just to make it look nice. Hey, you guys are pretty good. Go on. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> of course he has. Unlike other kids, he's already gone up against the likes of Vegeta and Frieza. Good point. Being here reminds me of when you first started training me, Mr. Piccolo. <laughs> you mean when you were a pathetic ball of tears? What? No, not that. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm starting to get it. So, this is where you guys trained when I was dead, huh? Yeah, Mr. Piccolo was super tough on me. I had no choice in the matter. He was useless to us back then, and I did what I had to do to fix him. Sorry to put you through that, Piccolo. Gohan's a lot stronger now, and it's all thanks to you. 
And who knows? If he keeps it up, there's no telling how strong he'll get. Might even get stronger than us. Stronger than you two? No way. He'd better. We're gonna be in real trouble if he doesn't. No kidding. And that's why I'm here to help you guys out. Let's show him how strong you can get in three years, Gohan. Y yeah. Speaking of everyone, I wonder what kind of training they're going through. Vegeta's most likely sticking to himself and off somewhere doing his own thing. Oh, don't worry about him. I'm sure Vegeta will be fine. <laughs>